Alright guys, so this is actually big. We're going to be playing as Andorra today in Age of History 2. This is a country that it's very hard to play as, so please subscribe, it means a lot. This video took a really long time, because obviously you got to do a lot of different steps in order to like, actually make a viable strategy while playing Andorra, since you are, you know, kind of trapped in between these two countries. So, without further ado, let's jump into this. Okay, so the first thing you have to do when playing Andorra is obviously... You're fucking trapped, bro. You have to get a military access agreement with a country. It took me 46 turns to get Spain to accept my agreement. But the, the good thing is Spain has a port down here. I played this a few times before. The Spanish port comes in very handy because then you can escape. You can find a different country to attack. And obviously lots of different options on the table to attack. You're going to want to pick something that is actually a viable, realistic place to take over. So, I'm thinking maybe something like, maybe something like this, but that could be pretty difficult. Uh, I think we might go for, for fucking, um, Lebanon. Or maybe Cyprus, I don't know. The thing is, like, it's really, really hard to know what to go after, right? Because, like, one fuck up? And you're basically out of all of your money. So I think we're going to go... I think we're going to go with Lebanon. Just because I need the money. And it offers so much money right off the bat, right? Like, we... We really need money really early on. About that... You know, about that, guys! Let's just fucking, uh... Yeah... Yeah, bro, about that whole Lebanon thing, let's just kind of forget that happened. Lebanon, I, I never wanted to attack it anyway. It's kind of a bad choice. Not really my style, not really a good idea. Yeah, just, just kind of pretend that didn't happen right there. But, you know, these countries, obviously, they're tryharding. You know, we don't want to deal with that. We don't want these tryhard countries over here. Let's Let's just go over to Greenland, right? Let's go over to a country that actually appreciates us. Actually, no, let's take Western Sahara. I changed my mind. Western Sahara is so fucking easy. And it's fucking very safe. We're going after Western Sahara for sure. Declare war, Western Sahara. We're taking this over. This whole country is ours. Like, for real, Western Sahara is one of the easiest places you can take over. So we're going to go after this first, actually. Plus, they actually have more economic score than Greenland, I'm pretty sure. So that'll help us out a little bit, even though it's not a whole lot. Alright, so Andorra has its first dub under its belt. We've taken down the evil country of Western Sahara, as I've always dreamt of. We'll take over all their country except for the one province. And that'll set us up for a little bit of gains. Not really a whole lot. Obviously, we're kind of fucked. I'm not going to lie. So we got to we gotta really just delete the whole military. As much as I hate to say it, the military has got to go bye-bye. Alright, we've grown as the fighting power. I think we're ready for our second conflict. The country of Mali has really annexed a lot of this land. Making our good old neighbor Maritania, is that you say it? I don't know. They're very weak is what I'm trying to say. Obviously our economy has improved. Our tech level is way above theirs. Not by a whole lot, but by a little bit. I think it's safe to say they're fucked. They, they're, they're fucking done for. So this country is going to be probably a cakewalk, I would assume. We're just going to kind of walk in, take the whole thing over. Like nothing really ever happened here. Send these troops straight into their capital. Pretty easy dub for the boys right here. And I believe these are some capable provinces. Maybe not. But, you know, we're getting somewhere, guys, is what, a, what I'm trying to say. We're getting somewhere. At least now we have an operational country, right? We have land, is what I'm trying to say here. And uh, that means about nothing, but it is something. I, th I think we took the wrong province. We should have taken this that had a higher population, but that's okay. 
Okay, guys, so I think we're actually, like, ready to actually do some stuff now. Andorra has become a very capable country. I mean, we have stuff, I think, kind of. Not really. <laughs> but, uh, listen, guys, listen, guys. We have a chance, all right? And it's our only chance. We must act upon it as we speak right now. This is, like, our only chance to win this game. We got to build an army. And I'm not talking a little baby army. I'm talking the biggest army this world has ever seen. If we're going to win, we have to be huge. We have to make an army of which the likes have never seen in their life. And uh, we're going to need probably this. Probably. Basically, we're just going to conscript as many people as we can get, right? We're just going to completely drain Andorra. It's not needed in the strategy. Andorra is a lost cause. Look at the, the fucking economy. Andorra, really, it contributes nothing to us. I am completely fine with just draining this place of all of its value. This place is useless to us. We're abandoning it. Quite frankly, we don't need it. People say, Raider Knight, you need that place. It's super important to you. And I'm saying, no, bro, I don't need it at all. So we're just kind of getting rid of it. I don't really care about them. Andorra is a lost cause. Andorra was never the the end game. It was never the destination. It was always about trying to get something bigger at the end of the day. Be something bigger than just Andorra. To win at, at, as Andorra, you have to destroy the Andorra. That's what I've said I've told people from day one, they never believed me. But the only way to win as Andorra is to destroy it. Realistically, I have to find something we can defeat. Albania does not seem like the one. This country, very strong. 80,000 population. We could die in there, guys. This could be a place we don't come out alive. Malta could be the option. But if we lose, it could be the end of us. We could go into Libya, but the same thing, the same threat really hits us. I think we're going to go Malta. And I might regret it very badly. But boys, sometimes you got to risk it all. Malta has been taken. A big dub for the country. Where the fuck is Malta's other other territory? Bro, Malta made that way more difficult than it needed to be. Malta straight up wasted my time. It kind of annoyed me for a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Like, Malta deadass wasted like 20 minutes of my time. Just to take this fucking island over. Okay, so as Andorra, obviously we've had a lot of fuck-ups. There's been a lot of mistakes, right? Obviously, we're doing well in the economy. Our economy is actually competing with some of these fucking countries, right? But, like, there's aspects about this. Like, we're fucking up terribly. Like, we need to be expanding in tech by a lot. Because we're, like, one of the worst tech countries. Because we got fucked. Because we have to keep going to war, right? But, uh, I think we're going to go after Lebanon next. Um, they seem like they're probably our best bet at realistically getting something going here. But it's just going to be kind of difficult for a little bit. Okay, so I've been playing for a long time. Things aren't going very great. I got population up. I got the economy up. Like, we're technically the top economy, right? I'm pretty sure one of them. We're, we're up there is what I'm trying to say, right? 29,000? Right? Am I, am I going wrong? We have 48,000. Almost. Oh, whoa. Two million economy. <laughs> Alright, maybe we're not hot shit. Maybe we're, maybe we're pretty fucked. I didn't realize we were that fucked. Holy shit. Some of these guys are some fucking rich ass countries. I didn't realize they were banking that much. Yeah, we're pretty fucked. I'm not going to lie. Pretty low on the totem pole. Two million fucking economy. That is kind of crazy. We have the biggest province in the world though. I guarantee you. There is no province bigger than mine. There's like no way. Well, maybe. Holy fuck. Some of these countries be popping off right now.
Okay, boys. Things have gone to fucking shit. We're being attacked uh, by a lot of people. Basically the whole world. You know, not, nothing big or anything. Just kind of, you know, the German Empire. This country. And some friends, you know. Nothing crazy. Just a small war against some buddies. This is nothing to be scared about, guys. But yeah, this is gonna fuck us over. Andorra has fallen. We've lost that shitty city. Not that it matters. That city means, like, actually nothing. Uh, but yeah, we're getting attacked. Pretty badly. We'll just kind of end these wars low-key. You know, let them take what they want. We're just kind of... We're just kind of Malta now. I, I think that's kind of what the game has come to. I mean, I think we are winning. I mean, we've won the war, right? So, like, it's not game over by any means. The country is growing pretty well. I think we could realistically win this, but... Fuck, man, this would take forever. We have hella bank, though, I'll say that. With all this bank, we're gonna invest in the economy. Do a little bit of trolling, as they like to say. What the? Whoa! <laughs> they just took Malta! Bro, they just attacked us with 100,000 troops. I ain't ever seen anything like that before. Bro, we ain't let them take Malta? Hell no. Hell to the no, boys. I ain't losing Malta that easily, boys. Well, maybe I will, actually. Fuck. We might lose here, boys. I think we lost, boys. I think it's fair to say. Well, boys, it's been an honor. We tried our best. Andorra was hard, I'm not gonna lie. I think we could've won if we would've played our cards a little bit smarter. But fuck, man. This was a long gameplay. Thank you all for watching. And peace.